So you remember when you were a kid and you used to imagine and visualize things of being an astronaut and a fireman and all these other things when you grew up? Yeah, we're gonna talk about how to tap into that. So we're gonna talk about how to use visualization to achieve your goals. But first, welcome back to another video, my friend. My name is Zach, and if you haven't, hit subscribe already and tap the bell notifications. Make sure you do so so you don't miss any of the fire that we're about to bring because we're gonna talk about how to use visualization to achieve your goals and we're getting started right now. I have a really cool story about using visualization and I'm gonna share it with you here in a second but first, Visualization is not just for kids. It's not something silly to do. You know, when people say quit daydreaming or something and make fun of you for it, it's not silly to do, all right? Everything in this world, like, like this computer and everything in this room, was first created in the mind, visualizing it, and then created in the physical form. And it's not just true for, for physical things. like. Anybody that's, when, whatever circumstance you have in your life, it's visualized first. Like, have you ever worried about anything before? Have you ever worried like, oh, I might get fired from the job or oh, I might, might be late? That's using, your visual, that's using your imagination and visualizing, but it's just not using it in a productive way. You're using it in a negative way that brings negative results. Um, but visualizing success and visualizing the things that you want in life is a powerful tool to get exactly what we want from life. Obviously, we're going to have to put in the work, put in, take action. But we have to visualize and think about what are the things that we, the exact things that we want in our life, and think about them obsessively, all the time, constantly. And the cool thing about this is, is that our brain and nervous system cannot tell the difference between a real and imagined experience. It can't. It's, it, it sees it all the same. So like if you were running down a trail and a grizzly bear jumped out from the tra trail, you're, you're gonna get freaked out for one you, and your natural instincts are going, your brain and nervous system are gonna pump blood through your muscles and adrenaline so you can run faster than you've ever ran before. Now say you took off running and then the bear was really just an actor dressed up and they took off their mask. It doesn't matter. You imagine you you believed and imagined that that was a real bear, and you acted appropriately to the situation. Your brain and nervous system acted appropriately. So, by visualizing what it is that you really want and getting crystal clear on it, like seeing yourself doing it, you, you're you're creating these neuro pathways in your brain, and it it actually leads to success when you actually practice it in your mind and go about doing it. Many, many, many doctors, lawyers, top executives, sports athletes, top sport, world-class athletes use visualization as part of their routine and making their thoughts come real. Now, if this is your first time here and or if you haven't already downloaded my Goal Getter Cheat Sheet, what we're talking about right now is step number four. You can download the full Goal Getter Cheat Sheet for free by checking it out right here. Now check out this story. So it was my first time uh, appearing on a podcast and it was also being recorded, not just the, the voice, but they had a camera person there recording it. It was my first time going in front of the camera and getting asked questions on the spot that I had to give answers to. And my whole thing is I wanted to, I always want to make it valuable. I want to, that's it. I want results. I don't care about how the, produ the production, all that stuff is great, that's cool, that's awesome, but I care about results. I wanna deliver a message and it possibly change someone's life. So I'm nervous though, cause it's my first time doing this. I'm like, oh man, what if I freeze up on camera? You know, what? all these thoughts were going in my head and, and then I, I, I was just learning about this visualize, visualization experience. And I've been doing this my whole life, honestly, but I didn't know what I was doing until I started learning about, hey, this is a real thing and it's a way to actually make your dreams come true. It's like, all right, I gotta quit, quit worrying about it. And I started visualizing myself answering all these different questions with confidence and bringing value and crushing it. And I seen other videos that they did with other people in their interviews, so I had a visual of what the room looked like and I was visualizing myself on camera just nailing it and really giving valuable content. And I did this every single night for a week leading up to it. And when I went in there, uh, half of the question, most, I think all the questions I imagined that them asking me, I didn't even get asked, but just the, the mental rehearsal that I did in my mind of me being in that room and answering questions on the spot, crushing it, 
I went in there and I nailed it. And uh, it, it was it was incredible, you know. And and afterwards, I just I was like, wow, this you know that really helped because I went in there with a sense of confidence. I felt confident going in there by rehearsing it in my mind over and over. I was familiar with it already. My brain and nervous system already linked those neural pathways and went in there and I crushed it. Now there's a bunch of people that tell you you gotta visualize in a certain specific way and all that, but honestly, there's no like set format a right or wrong way to do it. There are a few key things that you want to do while you're doing it, but you don't have to do it at a certain time of a, of a day. You don't have to do it for a certain period each day. And you necessarily don't have to do it. This, it all that really matters is that you do it every day as much as you can. And you also visualize the end result and how that would feel. You, you can, if you can get a visual of yourself actually doing the thing like I did of me answering the questions, great. But if you don't know what that looks like, it doesn't matter. Just visualize, the, the key thing is to visualize it being done successfully, see yourself doing it and having it done successfully and, and the feeling of how that would feel. When you when you when you when it's something that you really want and make it, you be like, wow, that would feel so great. Visualize that, feel that. That's that's the key right there because when you can get crystal clear on the accomplishment and the feeling of that, it's it's like a freaking magnet that just draws you to it afterwards. And do this every single day consistently. You don't have to do it at a certain time every day. Me personally, I like to do it. I do it every night before I go to bed because that's when I had the most time on my hands when I'm trying to go to sleep. And a lot of times this ends up keeping me up because sometimes I get really excited and stuff. But it's cool. I can deal with it. You know, it helps me uh, get to where I'm going. But I also do it anytime that I have when when I'm just not doing anything. Anytime I have any type of leisure time on my hands I do it which isn't a lot but sometimes I'll be driving in the car and I'm thinking about it constantly or sometimes I'll even and I'm like in conversations with people and I catch myself thinking about it, I have to bring myself back to the conversation to be present but I'm always 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 thinking about my goals and and the accomplishment of them and how that would feel and when you constantly obsessively think about it you're going to be drawn to it you know we get what we focus on so focus on what you want instead of what you don't want because when you focus on and you worry about things you end up getting those results in your life but if you focus on the desirable results that you want you will be drawn to them and you will get them eventually as long as you consistently do this I dare you to try it if you enjoyed that video and you want to watch the other steps the first steps in the goal getter cheat sheet make sure you check out this playlist right there and if you're not already subscribed to this channel, shame on you. That would make, that just makes, it breaks my heart. No, I'm just kidding. But hey, you definitely should subscribe to this channel if you find value in it. And if this is actually serving you. And if it is, hit subscribe, tap the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything. I appreciate you tuning in. And as always, my winning friend, I will see you next time.